Civil rights leaders and sympathetic whites traveled to the South to see firsthand, the state called, the closed society. Any doubts we had about the desirability of coming down before we came have been removed of what we've seen since we've been here. Because what we've discovered is that the people who run Mississippi today can only do so by force. They cannot allow a free election in Mississippi because if they did, they wouldn't run Mississippi. And as we go around Mississippi and are arrested and uh, beaten and charged with mis miscellaneous uh, and very imaginative traffic violations that don't occur and threatened and told to leave, we understand why the people asked us to come down here. Because inside Mississippi, the rule of force is so hard on them that they can't shake the oath. But when we leave Mississippi, we'll tell what we've found, and the people of the United States aren't going to allow this to go on forever. Movement leaders debated how to keep national attention on Mississippi. In June 1964, Bob Moses announced Freedom Summer. We hope to, to send into Mississippi this summer upwards of 1,000 teachers, ministers, lawyers, and students from all around the country who will engage in what we're calling freedom schools, community center programs, voter registration activity, research work, work in the white communities, and in general, a, a, a program designed to open up Mississippi to the country. Opening up Mississippi would not be easy. Local newspapers warned of a coming invasion. Governor Paul Johnson called for more highway patrolmen. The city of Jackson ordered an armored truck for riot control, all to resist college students from across the country who had volunteered to work in the state during the summer. Most of the students that uh, and people were bringing in for the summer project were from the large universities, and uh, they were from families uh, who were uh, politicians, uh, bankers, uh, uh, lawyers, and others. And we felt by the fact that bringing in those particular people, that the attention of their parents and relatives from the various different other parts of the country would be on these areas. And by having large numbers of whites in here is the press. The American public would have much more concern than if there were just a bunch of blacks that were in, in the state.